Okay, today I'm going to read a book. It's called Mariana Becomes a Butterfly. And then over here it says An Agricultural Engineering Story. I just thoughts about what do you think this story might be about? Mariana Becomes a Butterfly. What are you thinking? Sophia? She might be um, thinking, like she might be she might be thinking like a butterfly. Tell me some more. What do you mean, thinking like a butterfly? How would you think like a butterfly? She probably would uh, fly or pretend to, like, fly pretend to fly around. Good thinking. It also says an agricultural engineering story. Anybody have an idea what agricultural means? Or agriculture? Mike, do you know what agriculture means? Um, educational. It is educational, yeah. Um, well, we all know what an engineer is. What's an engineer? A person who creates tech technology to solve a problem, right? And using their, mi their math and their science skills to make something that will solve a problem. But it says an agricultural engineering prop story. So. Somebody's going to solve some kind of a problem, but you know what agriculture means? It has something to do with farming and food. Hmm. So an agricultural engineering story. Hmm, it's a little interesting, isn't it? We don't have a clue. We don't really sure what this is going to be about. When we finish the book, we'll go back to the title and see what it actually means. Well, this story takes place in a different part of the world. It takes place actually below the United States in a little island called, it's below, it's right above South America in a, in a, in a country called Dominican Republic. Right here, it's attached to Haiti and it's in the water of the Atlantic Ocean. Hmm, I'm looking at this and thinking, kind of a, what kind of um, temperature do you think that she lives in? Jacob? And it's also um, in the, um, basically the middle of the Mm. So it's a little bit hotter. So we live way up here, and she lives down here. What are you thinking about her climate? It's probably going to be like 120 degrees over there. Maybe. So it's a little bit warmer, you think? Okay, so let me start the story. And there's pictures here. And this is Mariana. Um, it's the first chapter is called Welcome to My Garden. I held my breath as I watched the speckled swallow butterfly crawling around the sunny yellow mag magui flower in my garden. In Spanish, the word for butterfly is mariposa. But one plant in my garden is not doing well. It's my newest plant and one of my favorites, my ojilo berry plant. My friend Pablo got special permission to bring it back from Hawaii where he went, when he went there for vacation. At first, my, my, my ojilo plant grew tasty orange and red ba berries, but now the berries are all falling off. And even though my plant still grows flowers, I can't get it to grow any new berries. Agricultural engineers work with biology and the natural world. Tia Letty does a lot of work with plants, especially plants that we use for food. I'm sure she'll be able to help me with my ojilo plant. How could she test to see if insects are actually coming and pollinating her flower? What do you think she could do? Uh, Owen, what do you think she could do? Uh, pro pro probably make a trap around her uh, thing, mm -hmm. around her flower, and see if insects come. And then, and then, and then probably the insects trigger something, and then it catches them. So she's going to try to catch the insects and keep them there. And, 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 see, and see if, like, they come, and then if they do come, she's going to let them go. Okay, so she wants to, she's going to be some kind of an observer, right? She's got to see if they do come. Did you have an idea? She, she could maybe, um, How could look she? Out her window. She could look out her window, could she? She could be a scientist and observe. That plant is from another place. Insects here on our island might not have the right mouth Parts. Ah. Do insects have different kinds of mouth parts? Mm -hmm. Yes. To reach down <coughs> inside the ojilo flower to get that nectar. We use a little tool with a fuzzy surface or texture to act like a butterfly leg and carry pollen. 
I could do that, I said excitedly. Then I would be the pollinating mariposa for my ohelo plant. So what kinds of questions, if she was the engineer, what kinds of questions was she going to have to think about before she can make her own hand pollinator? What would you ask if you were, what would you ask if you were Mariana and you had your ohelo plant that needed to be pollinated? What types of questions might you ask? Jacob? How will I be able to pollinate? Okay, how will I? It's one good question. Yeah. I think what she will use that to and suck up the pollen and then blow it away. Well, she said, when I read this, she said that the pollen, this pollinator is too big. Mmm, what's she going to have to think about? She'll have to look it up online. Online? And maybe she can do some, or to craft something like that and make a smaller tube for it too. She might. She might think about some other way to do it. You're right. Um, she could ask, how can I make it smaller? Maybe make a cocoon just smaller. Now here it is, six weeks later, and guess what? My plant has started to grow berries again. My pollinator worked. I can't wait to pick up some berries to give to Tialetti. So, Mariana becomes a butterfly. What does that title mean now? Grace? Yeah, she, she pollinated just like a butterfly. Right. Yes, we are. This is the pollination system. I'm looking at what's up here? And a butterfly, what do we call them? Insects. What's next? The flower. Oh, what's on the little parts of the flower? The little yellow part. And inside, way down in here is the nectar. And who wants that? The bees. The bees or the butterflies. And what's down in here? The seeds. The seeds. I'm going to tell you, each one of these po parts of this pollination system has a job. I'm going to read the job and you're going to tell me where I should put it. Okay? This one's job is to pick up pollen, drop it off, and eat the nectar. Whose job is it? Which picture goes with this one, Jacob? The bee and the butterfly. The insect, right. The bee and the butterfly are insects. I'm going to put it right next to it. Whose job is it to attract flowers, insects to flowers, and provide food for the insects? Whose job is that? Grace? The nectar's job. Good. So it attracts the insects to come. And it provides food for them. Whose job is it to grow new plants that make new flowers? Michael? Seeds. Seeds. Whose job is to help another flower to make seeds? Aaliyah? Alasia? Pollen. Pollen. Whose job is to make pollen, make nectar, and seeds? Selma? The flower's job. Good job. Okay, what part of the system does the hand pollinator re replace? Which part was just like the hand pollinator? Which part does it replace? What do you think? Uh, insect. It's the insect. You're right, it's the insect. And the insect didn't come because it didn't have the right no. mouth part. And this is your job. I'm going to give you each, a pa each table a package of cards. And the car blue cards are the engineering design process. Okay, They have all the same words. And then you're going to read the white cards and decide which part of Mariana's story goes with each of these parts. Talking with T. Leti about the pollination system and testing materials. I think that What do you first? Ask. Making the pollination and testing and the Okay. Now, that create. And the last one, why don't you read that one, see if it makes sense. Making a drawing and choosing the materials to use. Mmm, where would you do that? 
making a drawing and choosing the materials that you would use. Would it be under the ask, imagine, plan, create, or improve? What do you got left? Plan. The plan. So you're planning on it by drawing it out and making and planning out how much materials and which materials you're going to need. Remember, good job. Tell me something. What happens at the ask stage? Some tell me. Yeah. Uh, you. Um, what would you do if it was the asking stage? You ask people. You could ask people. Ask people. How, what to do. What to do. And who did Mariana ask? Um. Her uncle. Not her uncle, but her. Um, she asked her aunt and her. Her father, right? Her papa. She asked. She asked her father first. He didn't know the answer, so she asked her aunt. Is what were some of the things that she had to think about in the imagine stage? How to make one? Because she said to her, Tia, this isn't going to fit my plant. This is way too big. Right? She had to imagine how she could make that hand pollinator a different size so it would fit her plant, her ohalo plant. So then she decided to do some, what else would she have planning? And how did she plan? How was she planning, Cole? Wait a minute, before she started to plan. How did she start to plan? What would you do to plan something? Would you take a, would you draw a picture? I think so. Yeah, do you think you might go collect? Jacob said you would have to collect all your arts and crafts things to see if you could which ones would work the best? Yeah, so do you think she did that? To see which ones would pick up the pollen the best? Which ones would fit her plant the best? Okay, and then what did she do in the next stage? What did she do here, Jake? What did she do here? Um, she created a, um, a hand pollinator. She created her own hand pollinator. It, did it work? Yeah. It did work. But then she had another idea. She said, I can make it work on one plant. If I create one and I change it just a little bit, maybe I can, cr I can pollinate more plants and be a real butterfly, right? So when she was doing that, she was in changing it and improving it. So she went through the entire engineering design process, didn't she? Just with that little hand pollinator and being a butterfly. So back to the beginning of the story here, an agricultural engineering story. Is it about farming or plants? Yes. It, was she being an engineer? Yes. Was she really becoming a butterfly? Could this story actually happen? Yeah. Yes. Why? What makes you think so? Owen? Because uh, it takes place in a real place, mm -hmm. and, uh, and it has real names, and it has real insects in it, and, and all that stuff. And real people. They're, they're, so it's, would you say this is realistic fiction? This could really happen. This problem could really happen. And could it really be resolved with an engineering design process? It could be. Good job. All right. My name is Pat Slater. I teach at the Stapleton Elementary School in Framingham. Um, it's an inclusion classroom, second grade inclusion classroom, which means half of the class is um, identified with special needs and the other half is a regular ed classroom. The storybooks are always exciting for children because they love to hear read alouds. If you mention you're going to do a reading story to the kids, they immediately sit on the floor and are paying attention because they just love to hear somebody else read. Usually I read it in two parts um, because the stories are kind of long or break it up and give them a break and then read the rest of the story. The theme of the classroom, the school year for second grade is life cycles. So life cycles of insects, life cycles of plants also fits both of those. And that's what we look for all year long. It's perfect for their age. Um, they understand it because they have some experience with the, the curriculum, they understand engineering, they understand technology. It's, um, it's, more, it's easier when they've had more than one unit and they've ex been exposed to the, the, the sequence of events in the, in the units. Mm -hmm.